Whether you're trying to exercise more, work more efficiently, or otherwise change your habits in the new year, I have three app recommendations that'll help you get it done. And I know it's already a little bit into January. If you've already slipped up, I won't tell anyone. My app recommendations will get you back on track. If you want to exercise more in the new year, in my case, more than literally nothing, and you don't generally have an idea what you're doing, Apple Fitness Plus can help. This service gives you hundreds of videos that you can follow along as you're working out. You can put it on, on your Apple TV at home, or you can put it on your iPhone or iPad while you're at the gym. There's a bunch of different workout types for all the common equipment you might have at home. Strength training with weights, running on a treadmill, cycling, or rowing. A bunch more you can do without any extra equipment at all. High intensity interval training, core workouts, Pilates, dance, even kickboxing. It's not all so intense. You can end your session with yoga, meditation, or a mindful cool down. And you can stack up these videos in advance of your workout session. Every workout video has three trainers that you can follow along. One for beginners, one that's intermediate, and one that's more intense. Building yourself a schedule so that you stick to your resolution is really easy. You scroll down, tap custom plan, build your plan, then you set days of the week, your time commitment, and which activities you want to do. Tap review plan, and you can even set the music that you want to listen to during these videos. You can subscribe to Apple Fitness Plus for $9.99 a month, which is cheaper than most gym memberships, by clicking here or in the video description using our special link. You can also get it as part of the Apple One Premier Bundle. For $37.95 a month, you get that plus two terabytes of iCloud space, Apple TV Plus, Apple Music, Apple Arcade, and Apple News Plus. All of that shared with up to five other people in your family. Number two is a time tracking app called Toggle. Maybe you work remotely from home and you find yourself getting distracted too easily. Maybe you're self-employed like me and time means nothing to you anymore and you want to be smarter about how you work. Toggle is simple. You just type in what you're working on, give it a category, and start a timer. You can keep the timer on screen so that you have an ever-present reminder of what you're working on. Even if you don't work on a Mac, you can use the iPhone app in standby with live activity support right next to your PC. The list view shows your recent activity. You can restart any previous activity by just hitting the play button. The calendar shows your work on a visual schedule. You can just click and drag to log previous work. It's free for personal use with all the features I just showed you, or $9 per user per month for tracking billable rates, sub-projects, templates, and more. Download it from their website on the Mac or from the App Store on iPhone and iPad. Number three, if you have a more specific goal that you're trying to accomplish every day, like an old habit you're trying to break or a new habit you're trying to start, Goal Streak Calendar by Emily Churoski is the app for you. Creating a new goal is really easy. You just give it a name, type in a description, and pick a color. You can have just one goal, or you can add multiple. Every day, you can check off your goals and write a little note to yourself if you want. From the calendar view, you can see how you're progressing throughout the entire year. And in settings, I really recommend you turn on a daily push notification to remind you to fill it out. It syncs over iCloud so your progress is backed up between your iPhone and your iPad, but best of all, it's totally free. No in-app purchases, no account required, a completely clean app privacy report card, so you have nothing to lose when you try it out. Click here to get it on the App Store for iPhone and iPad. So those are my recommendations. Remember to like and subscribe. I'm D. Griffin Jones with Cult of Mac.